Hello and welcome to Fresh Thinking by Snowden Optiro. My name's Taryn Elkington, General Manager, and today I'm joined by Hamish Guthrie, who is the Managing Consultant of our mining team here for Snowden Optiro in Perth. Hamish has more than 25 years of experience in both uh, operational and consulting roles, covering a range of different mining methods and, and commodities. So uh, welcome, welcome to the podcast. Thanks, Taryn. Uh, the topic for the podcast today is the open pit mine planning process, where we will give you a bit of a high level overview of, of the process and then dive into the detail a bit in, the, in, in future podcasts. But I thought we'd just start by asking the question um, of whether you, uh, what is an open pit mine mm. plan? No, good question, Tarrant. Um, an open pit plan really is forecasting what's in the ground and when it's going to come out and the properties of, of that material to to form an, an open pit plan. So Tarrant, why do we do these plans? Uh, well, it really depends on the, the horizon that you're looking at. So you've got a, a range of different horizons that we're, we're considering short term, medium term and, and long term. Um, and so the, the, the purpose for a short term plan is more you know, in the next week or next day, or what am I executing? Where's this, where's this digger going? Where are the trucks going? How do I deal with those issues? All the way through to like a long-term plan where you're trying to figure out where am I going? Which cutback am I taking? You know, how, what's my production rate going to be? Yeah. So there are different types of decisions. And one of the interesting things about them is they've all ultimately got to tie in together. There's no point in a, a strategic plan that can't be, can't be executed. So. So, Tarrant, how do we typically do an open pit mine plan? Well, obviously every open pit's different, but there's a general process that we follow and, and this is uh, probably we'll dive into the detail of each of those in, in future podcasts. But if I was to sort of lay out the, the, the general process, firstly, we, we get a resource model. So that's, that's sort of the first, the first step, have a look at it. Um, we apply some modification to it to enable it to be used for mine planning because there's different different purposes. From there, we would gather the parameters, um, all the economic and technical parameters that determine the economics of the of the pit, and run uh, a pit optimization. See uh, what we could economically mm. mine usually, and then we might go and uh, figure out put a design around that to see because a pit optimization doesn't have ramps, doesn't consider access, and all these practical things. It's a mathematical process. So we go and make it practical that we can uh, put a design around it. We design where things are going to go, stockpiles, waste dumps, uh, roads, etc. cetera. And, um, and then we schedule. Um, so we figure out, once we figure it out, you know, what we're mining, um, we figure out when, where we're going to mine it, where it's going to go to or a waste. And then, you know, depending on the purpose, you might go and add parts onto it. So what does that schedule mean for how much equipment that you require, how many people you need, how many explosives, how much fuel, mm. and ultimately what is going to cost to be able to extract extract that material. So that's the typical flow of activities that go into a um, that go into an open pit um, mine plan. And and what are the outputs from a, a typical mine plan? So there's various outputs that we get, uh, some through interim processes that we go, but ultimately what we're getting is, a, is an output of um, how many tonnes at grade, how much waste that we're moving um, over a certain period that, we're, that we've defined. It can be over years, it could be over days or, or whatever the horizon that, you, that you're dealing with. But behind that, there's a lot of detail. So there's files that are associated with your design design so that's yeah. an, uh, an important output and also um, we understand out of that how much product we might get we have all of these physicals that have been scheduled not just the mining part of the schedule but we determine what gets processed mm. um, and so that that ultimately can go to to be used for cash flow modeling for metallurgists to determine you know what what's coming through the plant uh, at, at any time and how long how long does it take to, to do one of these plans? Uh, 
that range, that ranges, right? Depending on the granularity that you're going for, the the type of plan that you're going for, how long you're scheduling. So a short-term mine plan might only consider a very small amount of material and might be done very regularly. And a long-term plan might consider 50 years worth of uh, worth of mining. Um, so I think the horizon matters there. Um, you know, it can be anything from a few hours to update a plan up to, to you know, weeks or, or, or months sometimes yeah. even to do to do a mine uh, to do a mine plan. There's usually um, you know when you get into it, there's compromises that can be made because obviously doing something that takes weeks or months doesn't let you do lots of scenarios. So there are compromises we can make. We'll talk about them on future podcasts to be able to um, you know get the eighty twenty rule, you know, yeah. so to get uh, what you're looking for, but in a shorter period of time, so that you could explore more, more options. And how often would we need to update uh, a mine plan? Um, I hate saying it depends again, but it does. Um, so often plans are complete. Sometimes plans are completed on a cadence, right? So weekly or monthly or, or quarterly, these schedules get updated because. You don't necessarily always end up doing what you plan to do and things uh, and the situation changes. Uh, for a long-term plan, often these get updated on an annual basis uh, or if there's a material change to the inputs. So if there's a material change in price or the resource has been updated or there's a change in our cost base, you know, we need to then... The, it, it, it's all a connected system. So your best option might be different now because the inputs are different. So we, we go through that process of looking at it uh, looking at it again. So so Hamish, um, this mine planning process for open pits, is it the same for, for all commodities? No, well, sometimes it can be, but for many mines the geometries are, are very different so that the mining styles are, are very different. Uh, there's a large difference between a, a single open pit to a multi-staged open pit uh, where the complexity is a lot higher. So where, wherever the complexity of, of the mining method is, is more, then that needs to be built into the mining plan. That, that goes for equi equipment styles as well. Uh, truck and shovel fleets are quite flexible uh, and, and they'll work in with uh, the other machinery as well. Whereas other mining methods, uh, it might be dozer push, drag line, dredges, uh, they all have different properties and the ancillary equipment around them reacts differently and, and that all needs to be modelled into the mine plan and how it fits together so they all may look similar in terms of product and total movement per month or per year per period but the the parameters and the build-up behind each may be quite different yeah so i think uh i guess if we if we sum all of that up um there's of there's always context behind these things so there's a typical way that we do things but there's always exceptions mm. and uh and one of the great things about what we get to do is to, to to look at the range of different scenarios and uh and come across those different ways to solve the problem you know no mind plan is uh, is the same right exactly yeah so so that draws this podcast uh, to a close hamish thank you for joining me and uh, participating in this discussion about the open pit mine planning process if you'd like to hear uh, listen to more of fresh thinking by snowden optiro then you'll find them for free on our our website snowdenoptiro.com spotify apple Podcasts, google Podcasts, youtube and any other podcast platform uh, you can get your hands on if you enjoyed this podcast, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep up to date with our technical podcasts.